Rip, and today we're going to be playing Doom for the Super Nintendo. Absolute classic, everyone loves it, is Doom. And so what is it? Well, if you don't know, you've probably been living under a rock. It's essentially a first-person shooter where you've got to take down the demons of hell. Anyway, this is the version for the Super Nintendo. I've played various versions. You may already know my review on the Game Boy Advance. Also, I've got this on many, many different platforms because it is available for virtually absolutely anything. This version, absolutely slated, so it could be terrible or it could be great. But I thought I'd give it a go before I cast my opinion. Anyway, let's get on, let's kill some bad guys, and let's kick ass in Doom for the Super Nintendo. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, we are indeed playing Doom for the Super Nintendo. Now, this is obviously the European version. It's not the glorious red cartridge version from America. Still looks great, and in all fairness, the box art looks great, the actual cartridge looks great. They've done a great job making it just look damn great. So, as you may already know, this game was released in September the 1st, 1995. Now, this is right near the end of the uh, Super Nintendo's actual lifespan. And you could probably tell, because let's face it, we never really saw many FPS games make its way to the console. Now, there's some very evident reasons why this is. Well, first of all, the damn slowdown. The problem is with this, straight off the bat, it feels so sluggish and unresponsive. But, like I said, the problem is this console is not built to do 3D games. Uh, mainly due to the actual console's memory. Now, the game itself does run in a format of 256 by 224 pixels, the resolution. The only problem, obviously, being here is the fact that it doesn't fill the screen. Now, obviously, you could already tell that it's damn slow just running like this, so if they had tried to fill the screen, would it ever have even been playable? Now, the cartridge itself does have a Super FX2 chip, one of those chips that never seem to really kick off on the Super Nintendo itself. Uh, now, I can't tell you why that is, why it really didn't kick, pick off, uh, kick off, sorry. Uh, but, you know, that's something we can just ponder over at our own leisure. Now, obviously, the idea behind the Super FX chip was essentially, well, what it is, it's called a co-processor on the actual graphics support unit itself. Now, that's just getting a little bit technical, isn't it? Anyway, so what it is there basically to do is to give us advanced 2D and 3D technique graphics. Uh, now, you would have seen this in games like... Oh, what the hell is it called? Star Fox. Star Fox, that's right. And then there was a really, really terrible racing game um, called Stunt... Stunt Race FX? Something like that. But like I said, it really didn't make... It didn't make... It didn't blow us away like it really should have done anyway. Right, well, enough about the FX chip. Let's start talking about Doom. Now, level design, it's exactly like you'd expect. It's Doom. We're playing Doom at the end of the day. Now, what we do actually have here are 22 of the original levels from the actual PC version. Not all of these levels actually featured on the uh, Sega 32X version, or the Jaguar version, or even the 3DO version. And there's actually quite a few differences here um, from what this SNES version has compared to the other versions available. Now, you might already notice this when you see the enemies here. The, anim uh, the enemies themselves are only animated on the front. Now, you can never... You probably won't believe this until you actually see it. You can only see the front of the enemy, so they're always looking at you, always checking you out, always ready to kill you. But that's basically what they're, to, they're there to do anyway. But yeah, that's it. They are animated only to that point. Now, obviously, this again is dr due to the memory lacking here. Um, that's basically it in a nutshell. Now, the musical score, as I was saying here, it uses the actual system's onboard sound processors, which plays... It basically plays the arrangements of each song, rather than the PC... Obviously, the PC version would have a MIDI uh, MIDI format in which they played the... Uh, I can't even talk now. In which they uh, played the music. So that's obviously the massive, massive differences with sound here. 
like obviously we're already seeing the graphical drawback it's slow it's unresponsive and the funny thing is as you'll see in a minute is you get stuck in walls look can't move yeah, it's really really shocking now the control system on here now obviously the d-pad actually works quite well i'll be quite honest d-pad really does work well and you've obviously also got the shoulder buttons to strafe left and right only problem you will find though with strafing on this game is you cannot strafe and turn at the same time it's literally one or the other now i don't know why that is just created poorly i suppose i'm giving this game a damn hard time aren't i i, I do the thing is i love doom i don't want to see a shoddy doom product but why did i buy this then i don't know anyway let's let's keep the ball rolling here Obviously, as we already know, Nintendo are very kiddie friendly here, and they removed all of the references to hell. Yep, they just now call it Inferno. Good one, Nintendo. Next up, now, the game itself does have multiplayer. Now, obviously, this is not split screen, because that would be pretty much unbearable, but you could, back in the day, buy an X band modem for you allowed to play with your mates online before online was massive. In all fairness, it have always been pretty revolutionary when it comes to, uh, well, multiplayer of any form. The map does come back here, as you can see, is pretty damn useful, especially because the draw distance is a fucking nightmare when it comes to spotting monsters, because they are so pixelated, you half the time don't know where you're being shot from. So, that's great. This game, this version, also does include the Cyber Demon, which doesn't, appear in the 3DX version, 3DO, or there's another version it doesn't feature in as well. But anyway, also doesn't feature in that. So, in a nutshell, should you buy this game? Now, I've bought this game because I love Doom. I've got Doom for virtually every format I have, and I will always endeavour to get brand new versions to play. Is it worth the money? Like I said, if you're an id slash doom collector, then 100% yes. But if you just want to play doom, there are far better versions out there. Be it the 3D, uh, 3D, the uh, Xbox 360 version, um, which you can get on arcade or comes with the Doom 3 uh, HD BFG edition. I'd probably go for that one. Or just play it for an old 486 PC. That's what I do, and that's what I've done. Anyway, I've been Al from GamesRip. I really hope you've enjoyed this review because I loved, love talking about Doom. And I love doing reviews. So I've been Al from GamesRip. Like and subscribe. Make sure to tell a friend. Get them to visit the site. Anyway, I'll see you all soon. Al, zooming out.